I mean, do we want to do we want to tip the hand that early? <laughs> who's that? Who's that guy? Who's that is guy? That? <laughs> That's pretty weird. Uh, don't worry about him. I, yeah, think, I, think, I think we should, I think we should do it. I, I think I'm gonna go sit with the narrator. You want to go say hi to whoever I'm that is? I'm gonna say hi to the narrator. Who could it be? Yeah, all right. Who could okay, it be? sure. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> I made the right Mega choice. Upload. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> it's me. The narrator. Uh -oh. It's me, the narrator. Uh -oh. Your friendly classmate who narrates everything that happens here at Spooky High. <laughs> and also the inside of all your minds and basically everything everywhere. Oh, he must love me. Yes. <laughs> it's so nice that you came by to say hi. I'm glad you're here. Sometimes it gets lonely doing all this all day, every day. <laughs> that face. I always see you doing the classic mega upload wacky stuff. You know, like uploading entire movies onto the internet. <laughs> What if I played a role in this story instead of just being the one who narrates oh all of it? God. Yes, 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 yes. It'd be such a dream. Yes, mm, yes. Cool. <laughs> oh, mega <laughs> upload. Would you, would you take me on one of your silly misadventures, please? Make me feel like an actual character no, for once. No, I don't once. even need Damien anymore. I'm <laughs> so good. Yes, yes, I'll be the playable character. What oh, if I was God. like, no? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Yes, 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 you yes. You chose the right option. Oh, what a voice. great. What a voice. I'm so excited. Who Whoever the that? voice actor is, yeah. this is probably sounds sexy. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I mean, he looks just like this guy. Exactly. Yeah. Like if you just put this in real life, <laughs> right. I'm sure probably that's what he looks like. That's exactly yeah. what he looks yeah. like. Uh -huh. I'm positive. Mm. Yeah. What will it be like to be a regular character here on Spooky High? Will it be? Will mine be a scary plot line? A funny one, maybe. A sexy one. Oh, you know what I want. Do you think there will be stats <laughs> to be gained or lost? That's the kind of storyline I want this to be. <laughs> well! <laughs> <laughs> you know what I want. Look at him, he's not dressed for school. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, he's he's off to the side. It doesn't yeah. matter, he's on campus. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Let's do this. Well, wow. all right. Damn. Yeah. Can I, we can't get back over there. And also, I can't. Can I not go to Zoe's table either? I was gonna say, is that Aww. table off? What? Oh, bummer. Oh, that that table's Why off. Why is that? Send me to the store then. Send me to the store. Ugh. I want to see what I can buy. Hey, stranger. Um, Let's face it. You're probably gonna end up losing all your money in some stupid way anyway. So why not spend it here first? It's just being smart, my dude. That's true. Oh man. Okay. There's to a lot it. of stuff to buy. Give me the gift. Oh, Give God. me <laughs> the gift. <laughs> Give all right, all right. me the gift. Oh boy. Here's the randomness. Nice! Oh, okay. okay. Mind control. Mind control lessons. Inside every part person, one. there's a potential surf, my dude. That's true. Um, sure. Um, sure. Where Why are we going? can't I go? Oh, I can go to Zoe. Wait. What? No. Oh, interesting. What? Oh, I thought it was locked off. Okay. <laughs> ah! Ah, but, I, ah, but Damien said thanks. He did say thanks. He did thanks. say thanks. He did Damien say thanks. is Indian. Damien said thanks. But I'm worried that... Oh. That was such a relatable <laughs> reason. <laughs> My bar is so low I could trip on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy said thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put me there. All Let's right. talk to Damien. Fuck it. When you arrive at your chosen table, Calculester is there by himself. A few moments later, Damien comes stomping up, even angrier than usual. <sighs> Calculester, your stupid friend stole my candy bar. Scott stole your candy bar. What? No, the vending machine. I put money in, but the candy bar got stuck on a stupid coil thing. Ah, uh, I see. Because we are both machines, you assume we are friends. Not cool, Damien. Well, <laughs> yeah. In this case, you are correct. Vendronica is my friend, but she is also a vending machine, and so cannot be reasoned with. I am sorry, friend Damien. I knew using my words was a mistake. Time to stick my hand up the old vending machine chute. Whoa! Yikes. Hello. Friend Damien, desist. That is a gross violation. A vending machine chute <laughs> is like your organic butthole. Organic yeah. butthole. I don't care if it is my organic butthole. I paid for that candy bar, and I'm gonna get it. I want to know. I have a question here. I want to know if they thought up the phrase organic butthole and just needed to work it into the game somehow. <laughs> we gotta come up with organic a butthole. Hang on, I gotta write an interaction around this. Uh-oh. Maybe you can say something to diffuse this situation. What could you say? Not everything's about money, Damien. Maybe the vending machine doesn't want to give you your candy bar because of something you did. Or calm down, cock 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 <laughs> there, are, there are plenty yep. of good reasons to put your hand in a butthole. 
Okay. <laughs> I know which answer That's I would choose. That's a fun answer. <laughs> <laughs> That's just I mean, the vending machine. A this doesn't even matter. Yeah, this, this is who you want to This is who you want right. to like you. Oh, God. Well, I do want Damien to like me. Calm down, Calculester. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Inconsistency detected. Vending machines do not have prostates. Uh, yeah, obviously. That's why I'm giving it a prostate exam. Hmm. If I find a prostate in there, I'll know there's something seriously wrong with this vending machine. Inconsistency resolved. Carry on. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. Time to grab as many candy bars as I can <laughs> while I'm in here. Also some cigarettes. Wait, they just spend cigarettes and candy in the same <laughs> vending machine? Why are there cigarettes yeah, inside it's of it's Andronica? Yeah. <laughs> Error. <laughs> Error. <laughs> you, you've got plenty of time left in the period to enjoy Damien's spoils with him and to wonder where, why your school vending machine carries cigarettes. I just asked that. That's fine. Well, let's go. Okay. <laughs> let's uh, go. Someone's in the area where I think alike. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of crazy. You find Polly and Liam not eating as usual. You know, because they're undead. <sighs> You know, the food in this cafe really is atrocious. It's hardly even worthy of my Instagram. <laughs> what? I don't even eat the food. See? This is exactly what I mean. We can do so much better than these subpar culinary abortions. Oh, <laughs> I see what you mean. You mean the two of us should have a cook-off? What? No. Did you say something? I'm not listening because I'm so psyched about our cook-off. At no point did I agree to... I have got a huge advantage because I have cooked so many drugs. Thank you very much. Oh, you think you've got the advantage, huh? I've been alive for centuries of culinary history. It's on. The two of them dash into the kitchen, ignoring all rules of law, school, and common decency as they commence cooking. Two c celebrity chef judges appear to critique the challengers. I think they're both equally horrible, says the cruel British judge. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're both equally marvelous, says the overly nice British judge. Both judges turn to you. What do you think, tiebreaker judge? <laughs> Whose meal is the cat's pajamas? Oh my goodness. Hmm. Liam, it's because I think that glass jar of fresh human blood really goes with the parsley he sprinkled on top of it. Or Polly's. Because she literally just made, made a, pair a pair of pajamas, of pajamas for a cat. <laughs> oh my well, goodness. There we go. Oh, <laughs> the best. Oh, the best. What? Unbelievable. That's not even food. <laughs> what is isn't even food? That pile of yarn you're knitting in that frying pan. That's clearly a set of pajamas for a cat. Oh. Oh my god, was this supposed to be food? Sorry, I totally forgot what we were doing. <laughs> She's the best. Yes, it was supposed to be food, and yours obviously isn't. Oh yeah? Then how come it won a food contest, Liam? Well, <laughs> Bless you. Be be because... Yeah, that's what I thought, Liam. Catch you all later. I gotta go find a cat to put these pajamas on. Later, you run into Polly again, and she lets you pet her kitty, if you Whoa! know what we mean. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> it means you get to pet the cat that you put the pajamas on. What did you think it meant? God damn yeah, it. you pervs. Yeah. <laughs> the disappointment. Ow! Everybody choose an object. A heart. Oh. A Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Poop. <laughs> a bottle filled with a child scream. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Mm. Okay. Player order decided based on how likely you would end up. Look, <laughs> <laughs> well, Jesse wins. Jesse wins. Well, I'll take my first. Jesse wins. Uh, I think I think I get second, maybe. All right. Wait, what, was, what was what was a heart? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, definitely. You're right. Yeah, you're That's right. You're right. Thing. Um, I don't think Kristen should be trying to sell poop to children. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna I mean, say. I feel like if you were trying to sell switches, it would just be like. Really nice That's of like, you. You'd be yeah. a Toys yeah. R Us. Yeah, yeah. No. You, you would literally just be a Toys R Us. All right, so Napster? No, Mega I'm Upload. Fourth, yeah. Mega Upload and then Napster. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have a, uh, another day at school. Oh, Let's do this. Oh, Which is weird. We're spending evenings at school, too. Do we live here? I guess it's not really ever. <laughs> you know what? We're monsters. Yeah. Some of us yeah, are 400 yeah, yeah. years old. Don't yeah, question anything. They, they don't got anything else to do. Don't <laughs> question this. Yeah, it's fair. I'm going to be bold. Oh, no, I don't want to be bold. She's in the bathroom. <laughs> She's, yeah. in the bathroom. Yeah. She's in the bathroom. Well, I'm trying to I'm sneak going around, to be... but I'm dummy thick. <laughs> I'm going to go here. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. <laughs> Amidst the... Uh, what happened sorry. to you? What happened to you? <laughs> What's going on? I just had a moment in the video. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Amidst <laughs> the battle, you spot <laughs> What happened? What? There was a conversation going on behind us, Kristen. <laughs> you guys don't make friends. <laughs> wow. But I'm dummy thick. 
<laughs> we'll never Amidst know. the battle, you spot a fellow player that seems utterly discouraged. She see she thinks she's not worth anything at dodgeball, and she attempts to throw the ball at herself. No, no, no. honey. You explain to her that <laughs> the many ways you think she's unique and wonderful while also defending the many pleasures in life. Yeah. With your help, she's capable of finding reasons to keep playing and gains a sense of self-worth. Yeah. You gain plus one BFF. Sadly, she's not <laughs> part of this game, so that beautiful friendship will take place off-screen. And plus two charm. Well, that orgy ain't gonna plan itself, so it's time oh, to get into your right. it's the job. Yes, Thank it's still God. going! Thank you spot goodness. Damien and Scott, so you go for it. Oh, yes, they do belong there. Yes. At that orgy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I have no shame. Look at them! Kristen is actually <laughs> Zoe. Yeah? <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, sweethearts, the Lime Warrior and I, the lovely fan favorite Polly, are recruiting people for a very special event. Oh, uh, we're gonna do a purge night? I love purge nights. No, Damien, I know this trick. <laughs> They're telling you to go to a very special event. Uh, he's sort of sort of turning into Arnold and I like it. The vet. Whoa, fuck it, are you bringing us to the vet? Not cool. <laughs> No, uh, no, stop it. What the fuck? <laughs> this is an orgy, okay? We're looking for people for an orgy. Okay, give me five minutes, and I will convince you why you should come. We're in. Oh, uh, what? It's an orgy. We're high schoolers in our 20-somethings. No more <laughs> explanation needed. <laughs> He's plus. blushing. Yeah, I love being in the nude. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but wait, a lot of our classmates will be there, Scott. There'll be a ton of social pressure at an event like that. And social pressure is <laughs> a bad thing? Is that right? Yeah, it's the worst thing for us. Oh, no! <laughs> I don't want to miss an orgy, but if we have to find a way to be the coolest dude... Oh, we have to find a way to be the coolest dudes in that orgy. It's thinking time! <laughs> You don't have high hopes of them coming up with a bright idea that doesn't involve setting the orgy on fire, so you need to give them a better alternative. Study <laughs> <laughs> this book, the little book right. of orgy etiquette. She Take is. off your clothes, but not your good manners, <laughs> and wear fancy hats. I feel like the first one is smarty. Watching I feel like you it's smart. Is making you I laugh a lot. lot. I want it to be smart. All right, I believe in this. Yeah, I think so too. Yo! There you go. Yay! <laughs> Dodger. You okay? <laughs> She's losing her mind right now. <laughs> can you say can you say dummy thick in Polly's voice? It's dummy thick. <laughs> okay, anyway. Oh fuck. <laughs> I don't we know have what good times. Here. We have good times to play Muscle <laughs> from. Why are you laughing, Dodger? <laughs> This is just my voice, God how! Don't make fun of him, that's just how he talks. I'm not playing this game with you! <laughs> okay, fuck, alright. It happened out of nowhere, I don't understand. <laughs> okay, the little book of Orangeanic and a classic! Give me that, let's take a quick look. Ah, lucky ass, there's tons of pictures! Not that I don't know how to read, Wink. Is he illiterate? Hmm. Went away to stick your finger. Ten accessories you should never bring to an orgy. Whoa, Damien. <laughs> it says here that bringing a wild, ferocious beast to an orgy is never cool. Well, I guess we just dodged a bullet there, Scott. Oh, who would have known? You forged that page explicitly to prevent them from doing that. <laughs> we have some reading to do, dude. Oh, this one for me. Which shapes are the right shapes when you have a shape-shifting penis? Oh, shit. what? My cock can take <laughs> nine different shapes. I bet you the two that are actually deadly won't be cool. Oh, my God. I guess some bros are showers, some are growers, <laughs> and some are Definitely shapers. read that as showers. <laughs> I read that as showers, too. Some dudes are showers. I, I love this voice. You're <laughs> sort of becoming Bobcat Goldthwait, and I'm absolutely <laughs> loving it. Some are... Growers? <laughs> and some are showers? <laughs> that's not Bobcat at all. That's, that's Tim Allen. Whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We get in somewhere. They leave super stoked about the orgy etiquette book. You never thought you would live to see the day the two would be hyped about reading. 
Oh my god, great move, boo. Also, a girl can't resist someone who does her homework when it comes to orgies. Hey Maybe we should test if you did your a reading, Winku. What, yeah, is, she's thinking at me. what is happening right now? <laughs> Whoa, that book has turned out to be the best and most inappropriate family gift you ever received for your birthday. You gain plus two charm and plus one fun. Yo. All right, here's my <laughs> mess of a love life. What are we doing? <laughs> um, send, send me to the library. Oh, okay. <laughs> that day you spend some time at the library's PCs managing your start kicker. You, decide, you deceive lots of people with a sensationalist video and impossible promises. Nice. Nice. You gain plus 100,000 money, but almost everything goes to cover costs, so you only keep plus two money. Must be good. Suddenly, you hear the elegant gurgling sound of Jesus. water trumpets. Miranda's about to issue a royal decree. Bow to Miranda Vanderbilt. <laughs> I, Princess Miranda Vanderbilt, <laughs> grant you permission to speak casually with me for a short period. You're welcome. Fuck yeah. You're awesome at speaking casually. Let's do this. Now that we're speaking casually, I'm really wanting... But I, I'm really want... What? <laughs> <laughs> Julian! <laughs> Julian! <laughs> I really want to tell you about the event of the season. No, not prom. I mean the event of the season for poor people. <laughs> I mean the Royal Winter Surf Party Mandatory Celebration Festivity of Surf Lead Service. My surfs and I are turned to BFF, so I've decided to throw them all a party to celebrate their lifelong mandatory service to the Royal Vanderbilts. And since I love my surf so much, this party must be the absolute best. I'll spare no expense. So, I'll have my surfs build an underwater grand hall for the celebration. It should only take about 12 days of non-stop back-breaking labor. Plus, we need decorations for the party, so I'll have some surfs get dressed up and tie themselves to the walls. Kawaii! <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it, sorry, Jesse. Is this not uh, what a, is that? a wee playthrough? Yeah, what was that? I don't, is that Kawhi? octopus ink? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. yep. Correct. Mm -hmm. And we don't want any of my surfs missing the party if their family members get sick, so we'll have to issue a decree. Surfs are no longer allowed to have families. <laughs> I'm the most generous princess of all time. <laughs> But of course, I don't want you to think that I'm spoiling them. So I'll need your mind control classes just to make sure we don't have any serfs insisting that they value their families or anything dumb like that. Oh, this is from the mind control. Yeah, because gotcha. I, I started that by getting it in the gift thing. Mm. That's okay. I can, I can work <laughs> with this. You hand over your mind control class tape to Miranda. She's so good at controlling you, it's terrifying. You think about what she'll do with actual mind control powers. But who cares? You stan this watery bay. <laughs> I'm just so excited. I feel like singing. Uh-oh. Good luck, Chris. Here he comes. <laughs> Suddenly, an adorable little eel pops out of Miranda's purse. Here, <gasps> Dukes, you want to do this? Can I be the eel? Yeah, yes. You're really good at this. Yes, that's a great idea, Princess Miranda. Let's sing. <laughs> Miranda starts belting, and the eel starts singing back up. Wow, this eel has shockingly great harmony. Da, 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 the oh, no. sea <laughs> is always greener. <laughs> In a democratic <laughs> state, but my loyal serfs all love my exceedingly high tax rate. Cha cha cha, yeah. Cha cha cha. So yeah. There's more. Under my rule, under my rule, serfling's no better. They'll serve me forever. Now go eat your gruel. What a charming little tune. Who knew that monarchy could be so fun? Miranda bows while you clap enthusiastically. Oh my god, we nailed it. Oh, wow, Princess Miranda, you're amazing. You have the prettiest singing voice in the whole wide world. I know, right? My execution serves. Made, uh, made sure that no one in my whole country was a better singer. Now let me introduce my song surf, Mr. Feel the Eel. Hello. Mr. It's Feel a pleasure to meet you. I know that he's eel ever, because I get to help Princess Miranda plan a winter surf party. That's right. Of course, I need my surfs to do most of the preparations for the party, as I'll be entirely consumed by the planning process. The burden of leadership falls upon ro royalty, after all. Mm -hmm. For example, I'm going to do the difficult mental work of deciding that there will be drinks at the party. Now that I've done the first half of the work, I'll leave you two to decide what kind of drinks and how we'll get them and who's going to pay for them and all of the rest of the planning. Oh, you are so s s smart, Princess Miranda. Let's take it from here. I must depart. <laughs> Yay, I'll leave this to you two because I need to go recline in a velvet chase and gaze out the window longingly. <laughs> oh, wow, what an amazing opportunity. <laughs> 
for the death of the princess. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? Good job, no need to act and continue the charade, comrade. The tyrant is out of earshot. Oh, no. What have we done? <laughs> anyway, the Vanderbilt serfs have united together in hatred, and after our years of pain and toil, we'll finally send the princess straight to the depths of watery hell. Let your loathing boil to the surface as we plan her demise. <laughs> The foolish party she's planned will be saying our assassination! <laughs> and while I care not what drinks fill the punch bowl, be sure not to partake, because I'm gonna add a massive dose of poison to the beverage, ensuring that all of the princess's guards will be deceased by the time the party is through! The revolution is here! <laughs> I take my leave, comrade. May you dream of the end of tyranny, the end of monarchy, the end of Princess Miranda! <laughs> Just so as Mr. Feel the Eel is swimming away. Wait, how is he swimming? You're not underwater. Didn't anyone tell the eel the laws of physics? Miranda returns. I'm back. Oh, that gazing was so exhausting. I assume that you finished planning the drinks. Think fast. It'll break Miranda's heart if she to know the serfs are planning to assassinate her. But you can't let her die before prom. She's the only one with a hookup for an underwater limo. Uh, drinking is overrated. You can't have drinks at the party, or do you want your serfs getting ideas? You know what? Nowadays, oh, cool kids with a Z only drink the latest, <laughs> trendiest Fanta flavor, poison and it's yeah, a good. Oh boy. Um, you've got good stats, bud. Uh, well, mm, like se like a bunch of sevens. And like, then a four and a three, good. and that is a seven. Yeah, yeah none of these that's are true. Gonna be yeah, the fun. bonus and yeah. fun can be uh, mm -hmm. funness or bolden. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I feel like let's do number one. Okay. Yeah, drinking is overrated. There we go. Oh, oh, wow, bold. that's bold. Wow, Her face, I, 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 though, I see it somehow. It. She like doesn't feel, <laughs> she doesn't look like she loves it, but it's fine. Surfs with ideas, that's terrifying. Oh, except for my idea having surfs. But it's difficult to be, di nope, it's different because I told them to have ideas. So really all of their ideas are mine anyway. Anyway, you're absolutely right. Those surfs should not drink at the party and just to be safe. <laughs> Maybe surfs shouldn't drink at all. Yes. I officially decree that the consumption of liquids will now be illegal for all Vanderbilt serfs. You gently point out to Miranda that sometimes living beings need liquids to survive. Also, they're underwater? <laughs> yeah. Push! Food, water, shelter, whatever. All my serfs need is my generous and compassionate leadership. Wow, how could anyone want to overthrow Miranda? You can't imagine, but this tyrannical <laughs> princess has overthrown your heart. Aww. You gain plus two charm and plus one smarts. All right. All right. You got that smart. All right. All right. Hey. Cool. Where are we going? Oh, it's my turn. Oh, God. What do I want to do? 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 I want to go. I want to go. Are you stopped there because you want me to go outdoors? No. Oh, because I kind of wanted to go outdoors, but I didn't want anyone to know that you made that decision for me. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, outdoors we go. Oh, that day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. Full crazy. You're... Talking Dabbing. to Juan, the small uh, magical Latino cat, when he tells you that you won't ever be as fun as Bob, the, the scary clown. You accept the challenge. You go straight to Bob, stab him several times, open his bleeding chest, and eat some of his guts in order to consume his fun. That sounds like is, me. Is, is, uh, oh, is Oz skanking or is he dabbing? I can't uh, it's tell. It's a little like dab skank. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very modern. Yeah, scab. Um, <laughs> scab. <laughs> you really, really, do you think that's how fun works? Well, it is. You gain plus two fun from poor Bob. Behold. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> but all of that fun. is of little importance. Because you're really here to hang out with your new friend, the narrator! Oh my god! Oh, whoops, sorry about that. Old habits die hard, you know. Ooh. Man, it's so nice to take a little time off from narrating other students' lives so I can actually have a life of my own, you know. You know. Ooh. Hey, <laughs> why aren't you saying anything? <laughs> Oh For my. the same reason none of us had an internal monologue since you started hanging out with Mega Upload. <sighs> You're not doing your job. My job? I'm a student just like you guys. So what if being related to the Slender Man <laughs> and having no face makes me the perfect narrator? I deserve <laughs> to be happy. <laughs> of course you do. All serfs deserve to be happy. And nothing makes a serf happier than narrating the every thought and action of his queen. Not cool. Please, bro! <laughs> Without your help, I can't even remember how to open doors! <laughs> Damn. I have to wait inside and wait until somebody lets me out, and then if I went back in! 
<laughs> look, guys, I get it. I shouldn't have let you all grow so dependent on me, but look at this from my perspective. I spend almost every waking moment at this school verbally describing your thoughts and actions back to you. Ooh, I'm failing all my classes. <laughs> oh, buddy. I'm perpetually exhausted, and I don't even have lunchtime to relax because that's when you guys will try to smooch each other at your cafeteria tables. I said hello to you, though. <laughs> I hear what you're saying. What it sounds like is... I want to get the shit kicked out of me for not narrating anymore. No. Uh, you are such a gifted translator, Damien. Have you ever considered a career as a royal diplomat? Will someone please open the door? <laughs> I need to be. <laughs> okay, this is getting out of hand. Can't we come up with some other way for you guys to get your daily dose of narration? How about you, Mega Upload? I know for a fact you're good at coming up with crazy shit to try, right? Oh boy, all right, oh all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, let's launch a line of talking narrator dolls to dispense pre-recorded bits of bite-sized wisdom. Ooh. Oh my god, that's like a great idea in real life. <laughs> the narrator's just like us, which basically means anyone can do his job. Why not narrate for each other? I don't know if that flies, Ooh. but... Is that how that works? I think you can do that. I think you can do the anything you want. I mean, it's your, it's, this is your choice to make. You're right. Yeah. I, f uh, I mean, uh, uh. <laughs> which answer the one is your heart? The first one. Okay. All right. So I'm going to say, <laughs> yeah, so I'm okay, going to do that. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Yeah. You're crazy. Oh, thank goodness. Choosing options. Hey, that's a great idea. I usually say the same five things all day anyway. <laughs> Bullshit. What five things? <laughs> <laughs> and then Damien set it on fire. Uh -huh. That checks out. <laughs> honestly, thought, honestly, th thought Miranda, am I the only civilized being at Spooky High? <laughs> Her song's so yeah. good. I know, right? Oh. Then there's a couple of general purpose ones. That was fucking stupid, and wow, that wasn't entirely fucking stupid. Mm. What about number five? Mm. Scott opened the door by grasping the knob and turning it to the left. <laughs> Hooray! Sweet freedom! <laughs> okay, you win. I guess a talking narrator doll would help us get by when you're not around. Huh? Great. All we've got to do is record me saying those five things, and then... Uh, how do you make talking dolls? Oh, that's easy. With child labor. My kingdom has plenty. No, Miranda, let me supply the child labor. Hell is full of shitty kids, so it's more ethical that way. <laughs> Oh, okay. And I can do the audio engineering! <laughs> you can? Yeah! I learned all about home music production while recording my solo rap album, The Good Boy EP! Yes, I love it. Great, and don't worry, guys. I'll still narrate most of the time. This will just free up time to hang out with Mega Upload a little yes! bit. Yes! Nice. Speaking of which, so... I think he deserves plus two smarts and plus one creativity, don't Ooh. you? Oh my god. Yeah! Um, yeah? Sure. Yeah? I'm so yeah. stoked about this storyline. Um, send me to night classes. Go to class. <laughs> you are, the it is day. definitely night class it's for you. night classes. Pass you, out. You learn a little, you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. Boo. You gain plus two smarts. Oh, wow. Wow. You're, You're smart. So Smarty smart. pants. You stay long after everyone else has gone. You're deep in yet another discussion with Liam. This time you're arguing about which celebrities are also <gasps> well-known Naruto fan Oh my god. <gasps> I'm ready. <laughs> I'm telling you for the hundredth time, despite what everyone believes, there's all there's a very strong Naruto subculture among Oscar-winning actors. I'm so excited for all of One us here today. One could say Naruto is the biggest inspiration for many of us. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm so glad it's the three of us plus Jesse for this story. <laughs> <Me> too. <laughs> but you stop your conversation when you realize you're not alone. Damien is in the corner, styling the hair of a cold. Oops. Hey, Damien, what are you doing? God! Okay, you got me. I have a huge secret. I want to be a hairstylist and makeup artist. I love you. <laughs> Nobody's judging you, Damien. But before you judge me, let me tell you the whole story. <laughs> uh... Once upon a time, there was a young demon who was a huge fan of cars and illegal drag races. And so the young demon, whose name was Big Twist Damien, heard of an incredible TV <laughs> show called Boo Paul's Drag Race. And he thought, damn, it's about time they did a show about drag racing. Oh my God. But what a fool he was. For the TV show was not about motorsports, <laughs> but about drag. First, the demon watched the show waiting for the part where the actual drag racing happened. Only discovered there was none. By the end of the first episode, he was blown away by the contestants, 
who happened to be fiercer and stronger than any warrior or actual drag racer the young demon had ever seen. He realized they were so kick-ass, in part because of the intense and elaborate hairstyles they had, and the makeup that was more badass than any war paint he had yet witnessed. At that moment, he realized he wanted to be able to give that fierceness to other people. And that's how he started on his secret path to become a hairstylist and makeup artist. What you might not expect is... That young demon was I, Damien! <laughs> you literally told us two seconds ago that his name was Damien. But it could have been another demon named Damien, too. He's that wrong. Uh, anyway, were you practicing hairstyles on this corpse? Yeah, I didn't want you to know until I was the ultimate hairstylist and the most feared makeup artist. But I feel that I'm not yet meeting my full potential. I need an even more badass training method. Any ideas? Oh, God. Witness a loved one getting killed or almost killed. Get so angry you end up unleashing a new level of stylism. That's sure. A bold, that's a bold choice. That's bold. Mm -hmm. Meet a tough adversary. Built a rivalrous frenemy relationship that pushes the both of you to improve. That's bold. Oh, God. They're both so bold. <laughs> they're both bold answers. Um, Gotta be bold if you want that D. No, God damn. Damien. Damien. Yep. That D for Damien. The Damien Damien. <laughs> Uh, Can I say I love Damien's outfit here, by the way? Oh my it's god, me too. It's a good outfit. It's really good. I mean, I love oh him my god. in All any right. outfit. All right, or none. Anna Moose, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, very, it's a very nice outfit. Rivalrous frenemy relationship. Okay. No! Oh. Charm! Oh. A rival? I already have a rival. She's the daughter of a general that lost to my dad's in the war for the conquest of the Eighth Circle of Hell. You might meet her in the future. She's like buff and super intense. Spoiler alert! <laughs> but stop complaining, Damien. You can totally handle two rivals. Just find a new one on Rinder, the Tinder for rivals. Genius. Okay, let me swipe it. through some of these losers until I find a worthy adversary. This one seems too old. This one has a bathroom selfie. This one's too purple. Oh, this is the one! Swipe right! Immediately after that, an interdimensional oh rift boy. opens. Oh no. Goddamn. <laughs> Uh, hey, it's me, the <laughs> interdimensional <laughs> prince. <laughs> Dude, I'm super positive you weren't the one in these render picks. Of course, of course. I was practicing an ancient custom of our dimension. It's called catfishing. I love that Patrick Warburton came to hang out with us. <laughs> That's <today>. not important. <laughs> Let's be rivals, Damien. Let's build a relationship as adversaries that slowly shifts into a dance romance. <laughs> Sure, so what's your favorite hairstylism technique? Hairstylism? I have no idea what that is. I have serfs for that, my love. Can't we just fast forward to the part where we make out? Go kiss a portal, dude! <laughs> and so Damien pushes the interdimensional prince through his portal back to his own dimension. Great solution, Napster! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it up again! I don't even have to impressive. find my enemies when I've seen one right in front of me! Oh no! Oh, that's not good. Either you start building a frenemy relationship with Damien, or you might not count on him for monster prom. Oh, you lose minus two boldness and minus so one smarts. I lost so much boldness! Oh. <laughs> you know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots! We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots! Out of that time of video games. Bring the strippers and boots! Oh, thank God, I don't need pants now. Hey, JC! What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a production of broadcast. Yeah, now sing music. It's a production of broadcast. Bring the strippers and boots. It's a production of broadcast. Now here's to ask and answer one simple question. It's a production of broadcast. You 